Uh, you guys know me. My name is Nick Rudder. This is Ivan LaCroix. Ivan LaCroix is not only a uh, professional detailer for many years, over 30 years, or 40. actually 40 years at this yeah. point. Yeah, gosh, time flies by. But he's also an instructor as well. And we got a few students that have been in this class here. He teaches uh, detailing efficiency among the uh, skills of the trade. Exactly. Uh, I teach detailers how to be entrepreneurs more than anything else. And, you know, one of the things that is a passion of mine is efficiency. And that's why I'm here to talk about the spray clay and seal. One product does three things for you. And cleaning a car is a necessary evil. We have contamination that builds up on the vehicle. And you can feel the contamination, you know, sometimes by running your hand over it. And a lot of these cars out here, you can't feel your contamination because people maintain them. Now, one of the better ways of maintaining or figuring out if you have contamination is a credit card. So you take your credit card, you give it to Nick, and he will bill whatever you need. But you can take your credit card and just lightly go over the surface. And if you have contamination, you'll feel it. You'll feel it in the card and you'll hear it. And you're not going to scratch the paint unless you're, you know, pressing down on the card. But if you're just holding it lightly between your fingers, you'll feel any form of contamination on the surface. Now, if you have a metal card like an Amex, you don't want to use that. But, and then once you're there, once you know that you have contamination on the vehicle, traditionally we'd use a clay bar. And clay bar is an abrasive and it will scratch your paint. There's no two ways about it. You're gonna get a slight abrasion. A lot of people won't even see it, but for a, a trained detailer, we unfortunately see it. We see things that other people don't see. Exactly. Now that you're educated, I imagine that a lot of you will take your credit card and you'll rub along the paint and you'll feel just how gritty it is. And the reason that you use a clay bar or a clay alternative is to remove the bonded contaminants, the environmental pollutants, all the things that washing will not remove. So before you put a wax on, you want to remove those contaminants so the wax will bond better and you get better gloss as well. Right. And before cleaning your car, please wash it though. Yes, yes. So you wash the vehicle and then you clean the car. But what we're going to show today, like I mentioned, this is called a, a clay mitt. And a clay bar um, is a tacky bar that contains an abrasive in it. And the way it works is you spray the lubricant and you rub the bar across the surface and the contaminants stick to the bar. Well, the way this works is this is a microfiber mitt and it has a rubberized polymer coating, all these ridges and valleys. And you spray the lubricant on and it actually shaves off the contaminants. So it's a lot more effective and uh, the downside with the clay bar is if you drop it, does anyone know the answer what happens then? You throw it away. You throw it away. Hey, we got a well-educated group here. You yeah. throw it away. Or if you're like me, you know, you're like, oh, I just spent 20 bucks on that. Do I really need to throw it away? I gotta go get the, you know. This guy, if you drop it, you just rinse it off. Or you can dunk it in your wash bucket and it's perfectly fine to use. And it lasts a lot longer too. So you can clay this Audi, you know, 30, 40 times and it's still gonna be a Yeah, even, even more than that, but yeah. You know. Nick undersells. But, I want you to buy a lot of these. He, yeah. he doesn't care. I do. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, but the spray clay and seal, great product. There's a lot of people who use a spray wax. They'll use different things. This product was specifically designed for this purpose. Yes. So it provides enough lubrication, but without being too thick that your clay is not going to work. And exactly. when you're done, you've sealed the vehicle, as the name says. So yeah, you've added some protection. You've added protection. You've done everything you need. Now, the kit that they're selling today comes with a gold towel, but Nick doesn't want to break open a kit, so we're using a white towel. So the way this works is you use the lubricant and you want to spray an ample amount on the surface. And I'm not saying that because I just want you to buy more. I'm telling you that because that's what you're supposed to do. That'll turn off in just a moment. So you so, spray the lubricant on. That's it. it. Yeah, smells beautiful good. smell. You know, all the McKees products. You've got a good old factory uh, thing going on. And we're just literally, lightly, you're not applying any pressure whatsoever. And if you apply pressure, it's kind of, sort of like a teenager. Everybody's got a teenager at home or maybe two. When you yell at a teenager or apply pressure on them to do something, it never happens. If you ask politely, there's a good chance it might happen eventually. Well, with the clay towel, it's the same thing, or the clay mitt in this case. And you're just lightly going over it, and when you don't feel the contamination anymore through the mitt, you're done. And then we take our towel and wipe off the surface. And this is gonna add some protection. It's also gonna smooth the paint. 
and gloss comes from smoothness. So when you polish paint, you're creating a smoother surface. When you clay paint, you're creating a smoother surface as well. And this, is, this also works great if you get any kind of overspray, a stubborn bug splatter on the front of the vehicle, it'll come right off. What you got, Sean? Okay, uh, I saw you started with the, or you have to prep that clay mid, uh, prime it, and do you have to dip it in uh, anything before you put it on the seal? So that's a good question. So these clay mitts, um, they actually, they do ship from the factory with a, a clear coating on them. And Sean's question is, do you have to break it in? Well, technically, the way you break it in is you spray a lubricant on glass and you rub it across the windshield a few times and that removes that protective coating. So they do that for shipping, for um, for longer shelf life. Right. Okay. So, yes, you do have to break it in, but once you've broken in one time, that's it, you're done. Yeah, and that's it. And then between applications, are you dunking that in your rinseless wash bucket or how you, are you dunking it? Through? Right, so if you're using a rinseless wash bucket or even your soap and water bucket, after a panel or two, you'll want to put it in, rub the surface a little bit, and then continue working. Dry it off before you put it on the sealant? Not necessarily. Okay. So, uh, you know, all the McKee's products have synergetic chemical compatibility, meaning that they all work well together. Yes, yeah. And something like this, Sean, like this is a pretty well-maintained car. With this, you can treat it just like a clay bar. You do a section, because none of the contaminants actually stick to um, the clay uh, mitts like they would a clay bar. So if you're working on something that's really trash and it's got a lot of overspray, contamination, then yes, you'd want to go to the extreme and yeah. dunk it to really flush it out afterwards. But I don't have to dry it off before I No, oh no. No, 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 no. No, not at all. Not unless you want to add more steps and then in that case you wouldn't be efficient, just, which is no, what you exactly. I, I just didn't want to dilute the sealant. Oh, no, no. It, it's, it's, the sealant's really strong. It's, it's okay. not going right. to, especially if you use the same chemical line. It's not going to yeah. have any negative effects. Any other questions? In Florida, six month uh, longevity? Oh, for the, this is, you get probably three to four months. It's a light sealant. Um, it's a, a lot of guys either use it at a, at a high volume production shop, you know, where someone just wants a wash and wax. Right. And they say, hey, the paint feels really rough. Well, for 50 bucks more, I'll make it smooth. Yeah. Okay, done. In that case, you would do it. Or if your vehicle is ceramic coated, and the car is parked outside and it starts to feel gritty, you can run over with this real fast. Okay. It cannot be used as a topper. This is strictly a, um, a bare coated paint, right? It has to have no wax or sealant prior to doing this. No, it's going to have wax or sealant on it. It won't damage, it will only build more on top of the wax okay. and sealant. I just didn't know if the sealant could be a topper. I yes, it can. Be bare paint. Yeah. Okay, it can be a topper. Right, exactly. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Yes, a oh, plastic bag is good as well, but not everybody carries a plastic bag with them. Most people carry a credit card. That's why I use a credit card in the demonstration. But yes, you can use a, a very thin plastic bag and go over the surface, but you have to be careful with the plastic bag. You have more chance of scratching it with a plastic bag than you do the credit card. Yeah, exactly. The other thing is, I found that Quality, um, shall we say compound type of? If, 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 if you, when you do the plastic bag, yes. If you find some little where it's really minor, sometimes as opposed to doing the clay job, okay, your machine with good quality uh, compound type stuff will will take it out. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing is, some years ago when we had the other company here, Nick. Uh, I bought something called a nano skin pad. Yes. That fits on your DA. Yeah. Okay. Um, to me, that seems easier and better. You oh, tell me a lot yeah, safer sure. too. A yeah, lot a lot safer. safer, much easier as well. And you can actually feel when the contamination is gone. So you don't need to go over the panel five or six times if you don't need to. Uh, whereas with the nano skin pad on the DA, you'd never feel when it was done or not. Right, and you it was have a, to go back and check it with the clay. Yeah. And then find out it didn't work. And then find out it worked, yeah. And, and if you're really not experienced and you don't have enough lubrication on the surface, I've seen guys where they run over a dry section of paint. And, yeah. And with the heat build up, the rubber actually melts on the paint. So that, that's why we don't even get into those. They're, they're great for someone real experienced like Sean or Ivan, but uh, otherwise it's, you know, a lot yeah. of risk. I had and, no trouble with it, but I, I knew the trick to it. 
took the hell out of it. But most guys still read directions. <laughs> Any other questions? Well, we do have a show special on this where you get the spray clay seal, um, the, uh, the clay mix along with the gold towel. It's forty dollars. Normally, everything purchased separately is like sixty-five bucks. So, yeah. if you're looking for a different way to clay, this is a phenomenal deal. And I have a feeling a lot of you guys, when you go out to your car with your credit card, you're going to be feeling it, and you're going to realize just how gritty it is. How gritty it is, even for a brand new car. They're great. Oh, Nick, a brand new car is probably worse than any car that us as a car group, a car guys, will, will ever see contaminants on tape. Because God knows how long it is sat wherever it came from. And you, you do the credit card trip on a brand new car or a plastic bag. You'll get a big surprise. Oh, and you're right, because not every car is made five miles away. I mean, cars come from Mexico, and they come from, you know, Audi makes a lot of cars in Austria. You don't know how long they sit there. Well, they sit there for a long time, and they have a long journey here to this country. By rail car, by boat. Yeah. You know, so they get contaminated. Good, good. Up to